What's happening everybody? It's the Nerd Desk here, and today I'm going to be looking back on my school animation class from 2023, as well as some other stuff. I've released quite a lot throughout my first school semester, and I am eager to talk about it, so let's get to it. So originally, I actually almost didn't get into the animation class, but thankfully a spot opened up and I was locked in for the semester. Hot diggity dog! This place is magnificent! My first assignment was a 10 second animation filmed at I think 10 or 15 frames per second. And that's lost media, I don't know where it went. Next was a minute long animation, and my teacher's prerequisites shifted from frame rates to things like titles, credits, and more technical stuff. Which as you could probably tell, wasn't a problem for me. So what I ended up making was the Black Panther stop motion with Namor and Iron Man. I had just seen another Black Panther and Namor animation by another YouTuber named Swagwave, so I tried making my own, and honestly I think it wasn't that bad. I think the action was well paced, but my lighting was absolutely atrocious, though I was still proud of how it turned out in the end. Taking a detour into my US history class, we were talking about the Civil War and the events surrounding it, and we ended up talking about the Amistad court case, and we even watched the movie about it and our assignment was to make a poster for said movie, which would be pretty easy because the movie has a ton of symbolism. But my teacher found out about my YouTube channel in some way or another, and he just let me make a trailer instead. It was an absolute pain to get the footage for the movie, but overall I thought the trailer was pretty good, except I kind of spoiled the entire story. Moving on, the next actual animation assignment was to make a music video. A ton of ideas bounced around in my head for a while, until I settled on using my action figure of Angus Young. And, again, my lighting was super off, but, you know, ACDC stop motion kinda makes up for that in every conceivable way. After the music video was an instructional video, and I decided, something simple enough, would be how to build a LEGO set and I linked it to the end of my LEGO Buyer's Guide by teasing the set that I would build. And I think the final product came out really good, and definitely feels like something that somebody would watch for like employee training or something like that. Next up was a documentary, and I'm gonna guess by how many people saw it, my Call of Duty Zombies video was pretty good. Working on it with my buddies Austin and Jonas was a ton of fun, and watching the videos on the storyline while replaying the COD games was an absolute blast. These two goobers made the entire class as a whole way more enjoyable, and I'm gonna miss them next semester. My final animation project was a horror film, and from the start, I wanted to do something Ghost Rider related, and I even showed that in my behind the scenes video. For this brick film, I used the light to my advantage, and used the building and street aesthetic, which I think came out pretty well. But my favorite part by far was getting my friend Mike, as an official voice actor, to do the lines for Ghost Rider. Mike has been really helpful throughout the years I've known him, so to finally get him in one of my projects was a ton of fun. After all my animation projects were finished, the last thing I had was my Tenacious D essay. That video was actually my final for my music class, and everything I said remains true. I love Jack and Kyle, so getting a chance to talk about them and get a grade for it was a pretty neat opportunity. Though if I'm being honest, sneaking some of their songs into the background quiet enough so it wouldn't get copyright claimed was a complete pain but it was totally worth it. So far this year, I've made a lot of stuff for school, and I'm proud of most of it. I'm hoping I get more opportunities to make them for school, but if I don't, I still had a pretty good run with these ones, and you can find almost all of them in my school videos playlist. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you found this video entertaining and informative. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more of my videos, and I'll see you nerds. Later. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a holiday. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a day's day. Tell me why I never wanna hear you say I want it bad.